Welcome to the Fresh Tunes Music Show. My name is Dave Paltz. I'm going to try a different approach with today's show. And the theme is storytelling, telling our stories. And I think it's essential to our own growth, as well as sharing with others, to tell our stories. I'm going to start out today's show with a song of mine, Tell Me Your Story. And after that, I'm going to read the first short story I ever wrote. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Before I do that, I'm going to play the song of mine that encourages us all to tell our story. Paint me a picture, write me a song, tell me your story for your God. Write me a poem, show me your dance. Your story for your God. If you should ever wake at night wondering about your life, if some thought should come your way, why not give those thoughts some say? Write me a novel, or just write one line. Tell me your story, for you're gone. Play me some music, hum me your tune. Tell me your story, for you're gone. You think you have nothing to say. yourself a song tell you your story for your gone write yourself a poem show yourself your dance tell you your story for your gone tell you your story for your tell you your story for your Tell you your story for your gone. Here I am at 65 starting a whole new thing of writing. And I've written some short stories that a number of people have appreciated and have expressed their interest in hearing more. So I'm going to actually read one of the short stories today. And today's short story is called David and Goliath. David misfires and maims an innocent. So let me read you this story and see if you enjoy it. I'm going to try the first Friday of every month to try out a new story. They're real down-to-earth stories. I hope that many listeners can get into uh, the experience. Uh, As I write at the end, they're all stories based on things that happened in my life. So the story has been enhanced for dramatic effects, but the essence of the experience is accurately depicted. So let me tell you this little story of mine and see if you can get into it. This story is entitled, David and Goliath. David misfires and maims an innocent based on my memories of when I was 10 years old in 1962. It was sunny when I began my journey, but I could sense gathering storm clouds. I was apprehensive about my assignment from the start, but my orders were clear and I knew my way, so I began to relax. As I walked along the uneven path, I took out the list of supplies that I would be acquiring. My attention was disrupted by the screams of a crying baby that reverberated from the dreaded Caves of Nelson. As I looked up, I saw the grisly Goliath standing on the precipice, 
of a raised cement construction sticking out from his crumbling abode. He stood there terrifyingly, holding what appeared to be a boulder in each hand. He laughed and he told me to turn back or accept the punishment that was about to rain down on me. His devoted smaller brother stood shield behind him and chuckled with glee. I was about to turn back when I remembered the task that was entrusted to me and those that depended on my mission being successful. I reached into my pocket and feeling the list renewed my courage. I stepped forward and found myself dodging the fury that the Colossus was heaving down on me. Most were near misses, but one nicked my heel and nearly knocked me off balance. I was at an impasse and the monster blocking my way seemed to have an endless supply of missiles to fire in my direction. Feeling at a loss for what to do next, I decided to launch a small stone just to ward him off. I hurled it at Goliath with a ferocity I'd never experienced before. The velocity was adequate to reach its mark, but my aim wasn't, and I hit the young imp right above his left eye. His blood spurted out as he screamed and retreated back into his cave. Yelling at the top of his lungs and threatening my very life, Goliath started to descend from his perch. I know that he intended to do great harm, so I ran off with leaps and bounds to find a place to hide. It was just four houses down from where the dreaded ambush took place, but I felt safe once hidden behind my family's garage. Once I was safely curled up into a fetal position, I began to cry and pray that I hadn't blinded the kid. After repeating this prayer over and over, I gradually regained some composure. I remembered that I still held the family's cash and I pulled it from my pocket. Yep, I still had the crisp one dollar bill and it would have been plenty enough to pay for everything that I was to get. I pulled the entrusted list from my other pocket. I read it out loud to myself. One loaf of bread, 23 cents. A quart of milk, 31 cents. And a half dozen eggs, 29 cents. Just as I finished reading the list, my none too happy mother stepped around the corner of the garage and told me to come into the house. There, standing at the front door, was the little urchin that I had struck and his irritated mother. She lifted the band-aid covering a small gash on his eyelid and asked if I had done this. I began to explain defensively how this all came about, but I decided that it would be better just to declare myself guilty and throw myself on the mercy of the court. I guess it was the right decision because the two of them left shortly after I apologized and my mother who I think understood the situation, never said too much more about it after that. Best of all, my father was never brought into the discussion, and I wasn't asked to go alone to the corner store again until I was older. And that's one of the stories in my life. And I'd encourage anyone to rethink some of their life stories. Some of them might be hard to think about, but uh, those that you can handle, um, if you can do some creative process working with those memories, I think it purifies them. It makes them more understandable. Actually, my songs up to recently have been the, my way of telling my story. So I guess I've always been doing it. I wrote this song called Remember It All. Uh, it encourages us to take a moment, especially us older folks, to take a moment and remember all the things that we've been part of. Hopefully in that remembering process, it will uh, clarify our mind to know what we want to do right now in our later years. Um, if you're young, it's not bad to remember, remember things in your earlier life to try to sort things out and keep growing. So this song is called Remember It All. When the leaves begin to turn And the petals start to fall 
stop up and remember it all. Remember the joy of spring. Recall summer and the love she brings. It's fall now, stop and remember it all. Remember, but don't forget, your love is a what you live. Love and remember it all. Old, young, or in between, remember where you've been. Oh, remember it all. Remember when you were lost. Recall what brought you back. Oh, remember it all. Remember and don't forget your love is a watch you live. Live and remember it all. Remember what made you sing. The tunes that let you smile within. Oh, remember it all And if your memories start to dim Smile and it'll all kick in And you remember it all Oh, remember it all You'll remember it all Well, hopefully, as we're remembering it all, we don't have any regrets and don't say, oh, I could have or I should have done this. And that's uh, what this next song is called. Could have and should have. I could have done better. I should have tried harder. I could have reached a little farther I should have been so much wiser But could have and should have are only a waste of breath What really matters is how we live the rest How we build and give our love To guide ourselves we become With missteps should take us astray May we come to hear the song another day May it lift our hearts and help us sing May we share the joy the music brings uh -huh. Love is ours if we so desire The path is there if we aspire The climb is steep, our feet may tire to sing of love is to join life's choir I could have done better I should have tried harder I could have reached a little farther I should have been so much wiser I could have and should have are only a waste of breath really matters is how we live the rest how we build and give our love to guide ourselves as we become if missteps should take us astray may we come to hear the song another day may it lift our hearts and help us sing may we share the joy the music brings uh -huh. Most of our live stories, we have some romantic memories of 
some past relationship. And that last song brought some memories to mind of someone that I was very close to many, many years ago. And I kind of wished I could have been with that person again, but those things didn't work out. So I wrote this song at the time called Where You Are. Like to be with you under the sun Like to be with you just as one Like to lie with you under the stars Got me kind of wishing I was where you are Where you are Ain't a lot of folks that I can talk to like talk to you Ain't a lot of women I want to make a love to Don't like all the dirty work you've got to do If I had something to say, I could always say it to you Surprise! Got a lot of big things to do, and this is such a small prize. Like to be with you when you're so full of life. Like to be with you when your smile's just right. Love to think back and remember when. Couldn't find nothing wrong with quote just be a friend, being friend. And don't it always seem? Find your friends just in time to watch them leave. Shouldn't really be so surprised. Got a lot of big things to do, and this is such a small. Like to be with you under the sun. Like to be with you just as one. Like to lie with you under the stars. Got me kind of wishing I was where you are. Along with those romantic memories that you might have, if you're anything like me, a lot of uh, my memories are from school days. And this next song is called, I Guess School Never Ends, because we're always learning right up to we die, I guess. So this song is called, I Guess School Never Ends. Summer's end 
I guess school never ends Life's class is just beginning Listen well and keep your wheels from spinning As we search and dig and drill some more To find the center, to see the core Let's pull up the shades and open the doors Oh, 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 oh. I don't know where we're going Where this road is leading, don't worry, my friend. Though we'd like to know, it seems we're never told. Life just rolls along while it's taking us there. Well, I hope you're enjoying today's show. It's kind of a different approach I took to putting today's show together. Started out with a, a song about Tell Me Your Story, and I ended up uh, reading one of my stories that I wrote recently about my younger years. Most important thing in telling your story, I guess in living our life just in general, is staying true to who we want to be or who we envision ourselves to be then our life experiences will be full. We'll have many happy memories to look back on. So quite a while ago, I wrote this song called Stay True, just encouraging myself, basically, to remember to stay true to who I want to be. So let me play that for you. stay true. And if we're able to stay true to ourselves and be honest with ourselves, I I think the road will be much easier in life. And if we can tap into that song that we have to sing, if we can get in touch with that, you'll be singing for 30 long years and more. I was 12, the Beatles were hot. We'd sing their songs, they said, Dave, you've got to stop, but I've been singing. Thirty long years and more They stopped singing a long time ago But I'm still singing, got plenty more to go And I'm still singing Thirty long 
years and more. If anyone should tell you to stop singing your song, just ask them kindly to move it on along and you'll be singing 30 long years and more. Well, they might throw you the ugliest look, strut right off with their nose stuck up, but you'll be singing 30 long years and more. Don't know where this song has taken me to, but I know what this singing has brought me through, and I've been singing 30 long years and more. And always be true to your song, and you'll always be where you belong, and you'll be singing 30 long years and more. And always be true to your song And you'll always be where you belong And you'll be singing 30 long years and more And you'll be singing 30 long years and more Well, that was the Fresh Tunes music show for today. I hope you enjoyed today's theme, Telling Your Story. So thanks for listening. Have a great week and uh, tune in next week. Bye. Tell you your story for you. Tell you your story for you. Tell you your story for you.